So let's have a look at the type A and the type B. To look at them, they're very, very similar. In fact, they will support exactly the same loads in tensile and slip. The major difference being, if you look at the type A, it has a recessed head. That's designed to hold the bolt head captive. So if you look at the illustration on the left hand side, you would have the type A on the bottom. Your bolt will be pushed through the type A and the bolt head will be held captive within the type A recess. So it won't rotate as you tighten the nut onto the top of the bolt. Now, if you look at the back of the type A and the type B, you'll see a little step or a little tail. These are manufactured in three different tail lengths. Now, the length of the tail has to roughly match the flange thickness that you're clamping onto. If we can't get it exact, there are packing pieces available to expand that range. So we can cover a wide range of flange thicknesses just with that one product and with a range of packing pieces. Now, let's have a look at some projects where they've actually been used. This is the Ride Pier coming off the Isle of Wight in the UK. Now, at the end of this pier, they wanted to expand the size of the car park. Now, when they took up the old um, timber sections, they found that some of the steelwork was in no condition to start supporting the extra amount of traffic that was going to be going along the, the pier. So they installed brand new steelwork. Now, you've only got to look at the environment that they're working in to realise what challenges they would have if they had to bolt all that together or even weld it on site. Now, these beams could have quite easily been drilled in a workshop, brought together and bolted. But you can imagine the accuracy they would have to have measured for each of these peer supports to get anywhere near close. So what we came up with is an idea where they could simply clamp the new beams to the existing steelwork so they could position them exactly where they needed to be. This is a bioethanol plant in Germany. Now this application is for supporting building services throughout the entire plant. The idea originally was to make those end plates the same width as the beam. Now the contractor would then come along with the brackets, drill through the bracket and the flange and then bolt it all together. Now, some of these flanges were between 30 and 50 mil thick. So you can imagine over 200 of these brackets to install, the amount of work it would involve to drill through these flanges and bolt it together. So we came up with a system where you could expand the width of the plate and use the clamps to just bolt through the plate, clamp it straight onto the steelwork. Now, you may remember I mentioned some packing pieces available that's go underneath the tail. On the right hand side, you can see those in action. So you've got a, a type A Lindapter on the top and then you've got these two packing pieces which allow the type A to clamp onto a thicker flange. They were also used on the Centrica roof platform. What they were doing here is replacing the old heli deck. Now, the issue they had with this was not just because they were offshore but also the heli deck was manufactured from aluminium. So you've got the problem of offshore installation. You've got the problem of aluminium becoming into contact with steel. So the, the risk of biometallic corrosion is quite enlarged. So what we've done here is we've quite simply coated the location plates in a black plastic coating or PTFE coating, which keeps the aluminium beams away from the steel beams. Now we also have to keep them away from our clamps. So you'll see that we've clamped onto the steel beam as normal, but on the left hand side you can see that we've used coated strips to clamp down the aluminium section, which completely eliminates any risk of biometallic corrosion.